motorcycle detailing is expensive, especially during the winter time. Like this. You see this? This is salt. Look around. This is snow. Now there is there is a difference. Some people ride in the winter. I ride in the winter. You might not. This is a bike that's been sitting since winter started and I wasn't riding it, mainly because it has a problem. This guy right here has been ridden every day. And this is what a, a bike that is being ridden every day during the winter time looks like, especially when it snows. Remember this was black, I had to redo it with the titanium weave because the one that I came with wasn't titanium and it actually became white. But yeah, you get, you get the idea, right? Let me see if I can write something here. I heart Oh, I can actually <laughs> YouTube. See that? That's how dirty this thing is. <laughs> well, it's not that dirty, but you get the idea. Now, this guy is rusted. I can actually go above and beyond. I have a specific product in my lair that I spray it. And, um, and I brushed it a little bit and remove all the rust, but I'm about to change this. In fact, I have a lot of things to change on this thing. This is actually my uh, my light button. Remember before I installed it without a button? I put a button in there. But yeah, I could de-rust it, but I'm not going to do it because I'm gonna change the whole thing. It's not bad. This is aluminum. This is ABS plastic. This is some kind of, uh, I don't know what this is, but this is purely silver. Well, this one is a wrap, so you have to be careful how you brush this thing. thing about chain and snow and during snow time and when you're riding it when it's about to snow you actually spray the whole chain with the same loop that you would normally do it and then you cover the bike that way well because my chain is actually gold it prevents it from being rust but yours will not yours will be something black and by the time that it finish snows you'll actually see a bunch of rust in there. That's why I like the gold chain. But yeah, you see this is an American Lafon. This is not a Harley Davidson. I mean, it's just light dust here and there. It's not really that bad. It's just, uh, there were a couple of things that I had to change during the winter time. One being my uh, my clutch cable. The second one, you see? How is this bike so dirty, yet this is so clean? If you don't believe me, this is not actually a new bike. This is the same bike I've been making videos, right? On 11,272 miles. So I had to change this guy. Not mainly the tank, but the key switch. Over time, the springs and everything, the whole mechanism gets faulty because I only turn it off and on with the key switch. Now, this guy right here, this is 
when the when the bike is lean then it rains water stays here right so that's what this is the left one is like that the right one is a little bit see it's from it's from this side otherwise it's okay what you want to avoid doing is not using high pressure pump spray because if you mess up the electrical like the uh, old bikes would have CDI and um, regulators somewhere housing over there. That's why you need to tend to carefully.